Hi guys, I'm drowning. This is hey, what happens. It's this is what happens. This, this is what happens when Bob holds the camera. Bobby. I just tried to get Steph is what? not a tall oh, person. There. Oh, so. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what are we talking Hi. about? We're talking about short people. Short people. You're literally in, in the middle of the Bob's video. Bob's like, again. don't be in the middle of the video. This is why you don't get to hold the camera very much. Look no. at that. So we're sitting here. We're looking jump. at beautiful views of Verona right now. Ignore the brown water. I was kind of thrown by that. A lot as well. of rain. Yeah, we'll a lot of rain. That. Bob's right. blocking the citadel, but we'll forgive him. Oh, I, know you, I, I actually know you, think actually, it was more of your hair. It's right here. There it is. Yeah. And then right here on the other side, you can't see it very well, but there's a castle way back there. Anyway, I'm gonna put Bob in the center. Oh, thank you, Look thank at that. you. We're gonna get him right All there. All right, connection. Connect to people. Uh, versus objects, yes. Oh, that's actually, that's kind of stoic of you. Yeah, thanks. We, we, you know, we've been in Rome, we're, we're touring through Italy on motorcycles. I've been dabbling with stoicism for many, many years. Today you told me uh, I'm not really probably ever going to be a good stoic. Uh, yes, I think at we're least both, at my I, core. I think we're both too much of an extrovert. Okay. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to it's hard to flaunt uh, being a stoic. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Stoicism is more like silent and lead by example kind of yeah. things. And we do lead by example in some things. <laughs> we're not, uh, but we're not silent. We're not <laughs> silent if you uh, met But us. I, I do think there's a lot of great things you can pull from stoicism, such as uh, one of the things that uh, we were thinking or we were reading this morning from Seneca was uh, on being your own best friend. I know that sounds kind of funny. Uh, you know, you don't want to be the kid with an imaginary friend the idea, though, I had one you, of did those. you have an imaginary? I yeah, I think you had an imaginary. <laughs> I think friend. I still do. Uh, the idea, though, is if you can be a good friend to yourself, you're gonna be. You're never gonna feel like you're alone. And at the yeah. same time, you can pick and choose what kind of people, what kind of energy you want to bring into your life. And if you, um, if you feel friendship, and if you have that that sense of friendship, you are going to pass it on or pay it forward to other people. Yeah. And so Seneca in his letters was talking about. Seneca was his own best friend, and therefore he had plenty of emotion emotion in the tank to pay it forward and be a friend to all. And if you've ever heard of the letters by Seneca and the uh, meditations were Marcus Aurelius, but the, the letters was just to one of his friends, yeah. right? Most of Seneca's letters. Now, Marcus Aurelius, his letters, his meditations were actually just to himself. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's different. And actually, if you read yeah. on, if you go a little bit further on that, letters to Seneca, it, it seems as though even though the facade was that he was writing to, excuse me, his good friend, uh, the actual intention, because of how they were written, was that they were just going to be published. Um, some of the, uh, not critics, but some of the people who were evaluating the letters were like, yeah, you wouldn't write this way to a friend. This is someone who knew these letters had the intention mm. of being published. It was just in the form of a letter. So it's pretty cool when you start to read the history on some of the Stoics here. And by the way, uh, we're learning so much about history. I know you did a, a bit on the Pantheon. Watch it if you haven't. A lot of good information there uh, on columns and Egypt. Yeah. And uh, Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That may have been well, sarcastic, but a little I still, bit, I'll but, take uh, it. Thank you. What, what I'm getting at is, is that I, what I'm learning, and we had this from our, our Colosseum tour in Rome, it's just about timelines of the Roman Empire and when a lot of these things happen. And, and so, you know, the first, uh, the very first part of AD, if you will, uh, was kind of Jesus's time, uh, very kind of a short time in the big scheme of the Roman Empire. Uh, then when you get into Seneca, it's in the 60s, 64, 65, towards the end of Seneca's life when he was uh, talking to, or I guess, you're going to read advice, off all the timelines. Giving advice to yeah. Nero the emperor. And I think that's I think that's cool and important because uh, when things happen, especially in, in these historic cities, matters as far oh. as can just kind of getting your head wrapped around the history of a certain place you're in. I think uh, we have to evaluate the history if we're going to take strides and, forward in innovation. And, and that's part of your purpose with the discovery component oh, but yeah, and this of is a, just getting in there and seeing. Yeah, and, and you've got to experience it. And this is our day for reflection. And as we reflect on a lot of the history, we saw another Roman, um, it's kind of a, a mock of the Colosseum. 
Right. Uh, but it, it's, you know, it's still used today. They had arenas. One of my yeah, arenas. best friends watched a concert there with Elton John. We, even the letters, I will kind of wrap it up here, but even the letters to the Stoics, none of this information is new. What is new is how do we communicate it effectively? So we're using this platform on YouTube and Between Two Teeth to hopefully find an effective way to communicate some of the teachings of the Stoics to you. So our, our, our message here wrapping up is be a friend to yourself first and foremost and try to take some time for mental health and well-being guys and discover go on yeah, a discovery, discover. I, I, I think it be was safe. <laughs> Seneca said I know we're saying that. Seneca said hey be a lifelong learner basically yeah, be a lifelong keep, learner. keep learning keep take, enjoying take time to keep that your your mental mind game uh, kind of in one piece there all that's a Perfect. good thing anyways love y'all please hit the subscribe button follow us between two teeth Between on two YouTube, teeth. be the number two teeth on Instagram. Absolutely, guys. All right, talk to you later. Ciao. Bye.